What is going on Dev Squad? Welcome back to another video. My name is NVXCZZ and in this video I'm recording another Kieran's Crazy World tutorial. In the last video we built the Snowmaker and in this video we're going to be building the Butchers. However, there's a little something we have to... It's not necessarily a correction. I did it right, but it has since updated and changed. And that is this path down here. So, it looks a bit weird right now and I do apologise for this, but I just wanted it like this so I could explain it a little bit. Originally, we had this path here, uh, come all the way down here uh, to this very spot, right? Uh, but this is now gone. This path here has gone, and it's moved over to here. So the path that comes down the toy store, this now extends out here. It still turns and goes in this direction at the same spot. It's just the path connecting up to this has moved. So we're going to have my invisible helper come in, and he's going to get rid of this path, old path for us. Okay, so my invisible helper has kindly got rid of the old path for us, and yeah, uh, this is what it looks like now. Uh, so make sure you do that. Again, I, I did it right originally, but he changed it, so... You know, it's what it is. And right, now let's get started on the butchers. So the first thing we need to do, we need to mark out the path. And it's quite easy this time. Coming down the path in front of the snowmaker in the uh, sushi restaurant, we're going to go to the right by one. And that's going to be the uh, the first, second, and third blocks here. So one, two, three, and it's a three by three path. Okay. And now what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to take some oak logs, and uh, we need to actually get the placement of this uh, marked down. So, um, let me see here. Uh, this wants to go, and this is kind of hmm. So there's going to be a door, let's say, right here in the middle, right? We then want to have one, two, three, four um, stripped oak logs to the left of that, and then an oak log to the left of that. We're going to do the same thing over here, one, two, three, four, and then an oak log. We can now get rid of this middle bit, because that's going to be a doorway. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to build these oak logs up by one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, and two, three, four, five, six. And then what we're going to do is on the uh, next layer here where the strip logs are, we're going to have spruce strip logs going across. Then we're going to have a layer of oak strip logs, and it's basically an alternating pattern. And there should be five rows of this. So we've got three, four, and five. So this is what this looks like here. And then on the sixth layer up here, we're going to have sideways facing oak logs. Okay, like so. We're then going to turn. Uh, we're going to go to the side and there's going to be, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stripped logs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then an oak log. Going to build this up six. Four, five, six. Take this across like so, and then do the alternating pattern of the stripped logs in between. So you can kind of uh, understand what this looks like now. Uh, the next two walls are going to be exactly the same, as uh, so I'm going to have my invisible helper come in and fill those in for us. Okay, so my invisible helper is uh, filled the walls in for us, as you can see here. And now the next thing we can do is a uh, we're going to take some more oak logs and uh, we basically now need to make like these little arches going around. So what we're going to do, we're going to come to the front of the building and we're actually going to have to build up on top of the path. So you didn't really need to make this a three by three path. You could have had this like grass and then this middle block uh, just be andesite. But I like to have it neatly three by three and then start building on top of it. So we're going to put um, oak plant. Oak, no, my bad, not there. Um, we're going to put them like right in the middle here. So if we skip one block of grass from the path, and then right in the middle here, we're going to build up a total of two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to have the same thing down over here. So one block away from the path, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we're going to connect this, we're going to go sideways with two on each side. And then we've got a little middle section. 
so for this this time we're going to build on top of the path we're going to build up by three then i need to put something uh right here for us to put on top we're going to make a little archway around the door here and then this middle section here we're going to build up until we reach uh this height so an extra three in the middle i've just realized now oak logs kind of look like a flake uh, if you don't know what flakes are there a bit of chocolate a piece of chocolate here in the uk and we put them in ice cream and oak logs kind of remind me of flakes i've only just realized it um <laughs> that's funny okay so uh, with that being done uh, we now need to go around the sides of the building and again uh, we're gonna have a little archway area it's gonna be a bit different this time though so we're gonna go into the third block on the building so one two three we're gonna build up by six and then uh, let's see, just over here we're going to do the same thing on the third block in, build up by six, and then connect it across with sideways logs, like so. So there's no like middle archway on the side like that, or like the front had. Around the back it's going to be the exact same thing, on the third block in we're going to build up by six on both sides. Connect it across with sideways logs. And then again over here on this side. Third block in. Build up by six. And then connect across. So that's what that looks like here. Okay. Uh, with that being done. We've now got the more confusing part which is the roof. I need to see what this actually looks like. Okay so this roof looks like it would actually be easier if we had the um, the inside done but at the same time i don't want to do the hmm oh hello piggy uh let, let's head inside then let's get the ceiling on the inside done because we don't need to do the entire as long as we get the ceiling done uh this will be a bit easier to explain the roof so for the ceiling uh, it's going to go at the six block height right here and it's going to be um Birch strip logs that, uh, let's see, let's grab some birch strip logs first, and we need to face them a specific direction. So I need to find where they are. And here, here, okay. So the logs are going to go this direction, uh, like that. Okay, so I'm going to have my invisible helper quickly come in and do that for us. Okay, so my invisible helper has built the ceiling in here for us, so we can now head back outside, and this should make it just a tad bit easier to explain the roof. And the reason for that is because we need um, right side up facing logs here. And we need to have something underneath of us to do that. So uh, let's get started on the roof then. Uh, if we're on the front of the building, or if we're facing the front of the building, we're going to get a top down view. And right above the corner um, pillars right here, so the not this middle one, but the corner ones, we're going to go back one and then place a right side up facing oak log we're going to go back one to the right one back one and then to the right one we are then going to go to the right one but we're going to go um, sideways this time like so we're going to have three oak stairs um, in between that and then next we're going to have the exact same logs again so we're going to have a sideways log then a right facing up right log here sorry if i'm not explaining very well then we're going to go back one to the right one back one to the right one so it uh, meets up with uh, this pillar here again like it did on the other side and then we're going to have a sideways log to the right of that three oak stairs and then again we're going to do the exact same logs so like so then sideways three oak stairs and then the same logs again going across here sideways and then three oak stairs and then a sideway okay so this is what it looks like so far i'm going to pan over this for you guys to see feel free to pause and copy this if you needed to and i'm sorry i went quite there i thought we had a parcel or something being put for our letter box but we don't okay uh next row up um what we're going to do is i need to see what we actually have is it just dark oak going all the way across? 
Yeah, okay. So it looks like uh, for the inside here, we're going to fill this in with dark oak. Was it planks? Let me just double check that. Yeah, dark oak planks. So go ahead and fill that in with dark oak planks. And then on the next layer, we're pretty much making a very similar pattern with the logs. So uh, we're going to start with these sideways. Are we going to go back one? We're going to then do a um, an upright facing one. Go back one to the left one, back one then to the left one. However, this time we aren't going to have any sideways logs. We're just going to have stairs. Then we're going to do that exact same thing, going across here like so. Then three stairs, and then the same logs again, like so. So that looks like this. Okay, and then we're going to fill this in with dark oak planks again. And then this time, uh, we're going to do another pattern with the logs and the stairs. However, it's going to be quite a bit different this time. And actually, I've just realized we've done something wrong. Yes, we want to fill it in with dark oak planks. At least that's what it looks like. I'm not destroying the entire butchers in the note world just to see what all of this looks like. Uh, but right behind the stairs, we actually want to have um, oak stripped logs, like so. And then the rest of it is dark oak planks. Uh, so just behind the stairs... Fill this in with um, oak strip logs, like so. And then the middle part filled in with dark oak planks. Okay, next thing next, uh, we're going to do another pattern with the logs and the stairs. So logs are pretty much just going to go in the corners all the way around. Then in between all that, we're going to have three stairs. Okay. And then filled in the middle here, we're going to have sideways facing oak logs like so there's going to be a torch in the very middle of this we've already got torches on me so that's fine i can get rid of the grass and the andesite don't need them anymore so this is pretty much what the outside of the um the butchers look like this is the general pattern or shape of the building we're going for the general design there we are that's some better wording so just pan over all that for you guys to copy if needed Okay, feel free to pause and copy this if needed. Uh, there's some torches around the outside we need to add on now, though. I'm wondering if we should do the torches. Let's save the torches for now. Let's do them after we've done the little pixel art. Uh, so we've now got a pixel art pork chop to build. And um, this might take a little while. This is going to add on to the length of the video quite a bit. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to grab, um, let's see, I think this is black concrete. Yes, it is. We're going to grab black concrete, and um, let's see, we need to see where we're actually lining this up. So on the front of the building here, it goes right at the front of the building, and we're going to connect it up in front of this uh, left-hand side pillar right here. We're then going to go to the right, we're going to have um, an extra two black concrete to the right. We're going to go up and diagonal one for two, up and diagonal one for two again. Up and diagonal one for one. Up and diagonal one, but we're going to go up two this time instead of across two. Then we're going to go up and diagonal one, and we're going to put an extra, let's see, this is going to be a total of one, two, three, four, five, going up two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go up and diagonal to the left, up and diagonal to the left again, and this. It's going to be a total of one, two, three, four, five going to the left. Two, three, four, five. Down and diagonal one, we're going to go down two. Down and diagonal again, uh, just for one. Down and diagonal one for two, going to the left. Down and diagonal one, uh, going down for two. Down and diagonal again, um, going down one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Down and diagonal one, uh, two, like so, and that connects back up across. So this is the shape that we want to have. Hope that wasn't too confusing. Uh, but now we're going to grab some new materials. Uh, we're going to grab, let's see, purple terracotta. Uh, where's purple terracotta? Here, here it is. We're going to grab white wool. We're going to grab pink wool. We're going to grab uh, pink concrete, 
Now, let's see, pink concrete. We're going to grab pink concrete powder. Uh, where's concrete powder when you need it? Uh, where is concrete powder? Let's close the concrete. Where's concrete powder gone? Oh, it's up here. Silly me. Uh, pink concrete powder. And I think that's all we need for right now. Yeah, it looks right. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do, uh, down at the bottom of this pixel art here, we're going to fill the first uh, two rows in with purple terracotta. And then over here on the left hand side, we're going to do uh, two right here with purple terracotta. Then we're going to have one, two, three, four white wall. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three purple terracotta going to the right. Next row, we're going to start from uh, the left and go to the right. We're going to have pink wall, pink concrete, pink terra, uh, pink concrete powder, and then pink wall. Then we're going to have uh, one, two, three, four white wall. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to have two purple terracotta going from left to right. We're going to have uh, one, two, three, four per, uh, pink concrete, and then one white wall, one pink concrete, one pink wall, two white wall, and then one purple terracotta. Okay, going from left to right again, we're going to have, uh, let's see, one, no, two pink concrete, one pink wall, one pink concrete powder, uh, two pink concrete, and then one pink concrete powder, two white wool, and then one uh, purple terracotta. Going from left to right, we're going to have one pink wool, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pink concrete, six uh, ends on top of the uh, pink uh, pink concrete powder below us. Then we're going to have one pink wool. Or one white wall and uh, one purple terracotta. I said purple terracotta, not pink concrete. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, going from left to right again. We're going to have two pink concrete, one pink concrete powder, three pink concrete, and then uh, two white wall. Then going back left to right, we're going to have uh, two pink concrete. One pink concrete powder, two pink concrete, one pink concrete powder, or one white wall. Going from left to right again, we're going to have one pink wall, one pink concrete powder, one pink concrete, one pink wall, one pink concrete, and then one white wall. Going from left to right, we're going to have three pink concrete, one pink concrete powder, and then one pink concrete. And that is what the pork shop wants to look like. So go ahead, pause the video if you need to, copy this. And that is the pork chop done. That's the pixel art pork chop. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add the torches around the outside of the building. Building uh, The first couple being on the back of this pork chop, they're going to go uh, right here and right here. So go ahead, pause the video if you need to, copy them torches. Next set of torches, um, going to go on the roof of the building. And they're going to go here, here. I think they're in the same spot all the way around by the looks of it. So just on these um, oak logs um, where they, just before they go to a sideways, I guess. To the right of the sideways, there. To the right and left of the sideways. Uh, you can see where I'm placing them anyway, so I don't really need to explain it. But like so. Uh, going down to the actual uh, walls of the building there's going to be a torch right here and then on the logs going um, I think all the way around let me just check that one pretty much all the way around I'm gonna have a torch here a torch here and a torch here no not there um here and then over on the side over here we've got torches that go here here and here then on here 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 and here like so. And I do believe that's all the torches done. So again, just going to pan over this quickly so you guys can copy it and uh, if you need to. 
So I feel like I've made this video a bit too confusing, and I do apologise for that. But again, that's why I like to give off these uh, these panovers um, whenever possible. Just in case I have made something really confusing, you guys can just pause the video and copy what I've done. Because what I feel is accurate, but my instructions may have been a bit confusing to follow along with. So, you know, if you guys can see me panning over it all and then copy it, makes it a tad bit easier for you to follow along with. Okay, so, um, the next thing we need to do is there is a sign on this building, obviously. It's a birch sign, and it's going to go right to the left of the door. It is going to say... The big pork chop butchers on the second and third lines, uh, right down, all capitalised. On the second and third lines, all capitalised there. Okay, and then for the little door we've got on here, there's going to be a birch plank under the door, and it's going to be a birch door that we're going to have here. Now, I'm going to make this a two-part video, because this is quite a long video at this point, and I don't fancy doing the inside in this video as well, because that's going to add on extra time. But homework for you guys would be to, let's see, well, hmm, I would say I just break out the entire floor and replace it with birch planks, but we need to do a bit more than just that. Uh, we do need to break out the entire floor, but then we need to make a little basement area, and what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, plan out the basement area in between this video and the next video then in the next video all of this will be pretty much taken out and we'll have the basement ready to go um ready to be built on so that's what i'm going to do um i'll get this all sorted out in between videos and then in the next video i'll explain how deep we need to go and everything with the basement and yeah okay so homework just get rid of the floor for now the grass and then i will see you in the next video thank you for watching see you in the next one bye